Hey guys, what's going on? Zumio here. I get a lot of questions about my fraps and Sony Vegas render settings as people say playing my videos on full screen looks like they're actually playing the game. So I've decided to make this tutorial to allow anyone and everyone to make really high quality videos. I'm going to show you the optimization I've done in fraps and Sony Vegas to squeeze all of the quality possible into my videos. So first off, I'll start with fraps, as it doesn't really matter what render settings you're going to use in Sony Vegas if your RAW files are low quality. Before I start on the actual settings of fraps, I need to make one thing clear. You do need two hard drives to fraps in high quality. The reason for this is if you only have one hard drive, you'll end up capping the input-output capacity of the drive, as you'll have whatever game you're frapsing, your operating system page file, and all the fraps footage going into the drive. This is what I got when I used to fraps with one hard drive. There you are, you see a little bit of FPS lag. Buy an additional hard drive. I recommend something like a 60 gig solid state drive as they're quite cheap nowadays. You know, put your operating system, the game and fraps on it and then put the fraps target onto a larger mechanical drive that absolutely anyone is going to have. Okay, so onto the settings. The first mistake that I see everyone doing is setting the frame rate to 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Now YouTube videos and almost all internet videos use NTSC standards and this means that videos play at 29.97 FPS. If you render a video in 60 FPS, YouTube is just going to cut it down in a way to 29.97. So you'll basically end up rendering and uploading a load of redundant frames if you render in anything higher. You also need to ensure that you have the full size option checked. This basically means that your file sizes will be large but of the same quality that you actually see on the screen. If you tick half size, the Fraps files will be half as large but half as good quality. Lastly, make sure split movie every 4GB is ticked. Chances are this won't actually make a difference, but some computers have some funky caching options, so just to be safe, tick it. And that's actually it for Fraps settings, there's nothing really more to it. So on to Sony Vegas. So when you go into the standard Sony Vegas view, the first thing you want to do is hit File, and then go to Properties, alternatively you can just press Alt-Enter. You need to set up your project for 1080p videos. Simply select this template here, HD 1080p 60i. Uh, and make sure your settings are the same as mine once this is checked. So upper field first, pixel aspect ratio 1, etc, etc. I won't go into detail as there's simply not that much to it. Just copy paste this and you're all set to start editing and actually making your video. Alright, so once you've made your video, let's say this is, uh, this is my final video, you want to go into file and then render as. And this is where you want to configure your render settings. So first off, you want to save it as type Sony AVC, which is going to output an MP4 file. Now, I always optimize for quality above file size, so naturally my file sizes are quite large. Just for some comparison, Zumio 2 was over 2.5 gigabytes in size. In my opinion, it's lazy to sacrifice quality for file size, unless you have like a 1 megabyte internet upload speed. Whoops, it easy. So once you've selected Sony AVC, you need to choose a template. Look through your templates and select this one equals internet 1920 by 1080 30p. It'll usually be down the bottom, I've just configured mine slightly, so that's why mine's up the top. There it is, so select that and then click custom. So these are my settings, these are the options that I think produce the highest quality content. Firstly, make sure that the entropy coding is CAVLC rather than CA back. And if your bitrate is not set to 16 million, make sure you uh, type that in as it's not actually an option in the drop-down list. And that's actually you done in terms of video. I believe everything else is actually default to the template. You might just want to check it, but yeah, there you go. Now I've got the audio at pretty standard settings. However, I have upped the sample rate a little bit to 48,000. If you really want to go for it and you're not that bothered about file size, you can select 320 kbps from the bitrate drop down. However, there's really no point as the difference is, is almost inaudible really. I just stick with 128,000 just to keep the file size nice and uh, manageable. Make sure that you tick stereo as not everyone has 5.1 surround sound headphones or speakers. I mean, I do, but I'm not about to start rendering in it because I know most people don't. Lastly, go to the project tab and make sure that your video rendering quality is set to best. Uh, it should do it by default because you've set up the template at the start, the project template, and you know it will use project settings, but you know, just to make sure. And that's just about it really. Using these settings you'll end up with an MP4 file that is relatively large in size, but not ridiculously so, and it will have the highest quality possible. And when people full screen your videos, it will actually look like they're playing the game, which I think is awesome. Do bear in mind that my hardware is very good, and I have overclocked and optimized it quite extensively. So if you don't get the same quality, don't be let down. In terms of codecs and video output though, these settings will do you just fine. As always, thanks for watching guys, zoom you out.